Hello guys, hope you are all having a great summer. Okay, so we are here to present our operating system project under Professor Justin Elrich. Myself, Sai Gopal and my teammate Rahul Wangari are here to present client server communication using TCP sockets. The main objective of this project is to establish com communication between various components within the network. Technique we used here is socket programming. What is Socket? Socket is an application programming interface API used for inter-process communications, IPC. Or you can simply put it into connecting two processes locally or across a network. It is it can be protocol and language independent, and Socket is an endpoint of communication. Transmission control protocol. Here for this project we used TCP. Transmission Control Protocol. Transmission Control Protocol is used for inter-process communications. We have already previously known TCP is in connection oriented. So it, it provides end-to-end -end transport, it's reliable byte stream service, and it is reliable for every data transfer and suited for critical data transfer too. Socket and Connection Association. A local host can be identified by its protocol IP address and port number. Usually in socket terms, a connection between two process is called as association. A connection adds the IP address and port number of the remote host. So here are the few socket calls we have used in your project. Socket off creates a new socket and returns its description. Bind off associates socket with the port number and address. Listen establish a queue for connection from the server side to listen for the client request accepts accept the connection request from the client from the server side connects initiate a connection to a remote host close close is uh, is for closing a socket description whenever we finish using a socket the socket should be closed that's when the close off comes in Files. Here are the few header files which we use in our project. Sys slash types.h is used for prerequisite type definitions. Error number.h is used for error number. Sys slash socket.h is used for structure, socket address, and prototypes and constants. Net inet slash inet.h. We use, we use this for structure, socket address, in and byte ordering macros. Rpa slash inet.h is used for utility function prototypes. This is the uh, outline of our TCP client server session. In server, we have socket, bind, listen, accept, receive, send, and close. Whereas in client, we have socket, connect, send, receive, and close. A client doesn't need to be having bind or listen. Client doesn't listen to any, any incoming requests. Client just sends request. And it doesn't have to bind with any of the port number or host address or nothing like that. It just sends a request for uh, for the for establishing a connection with the server and sends and receives some messages and establish connection that sort of thing. Server always have to bind for the port number and listen for the request from the client side and accept them, receive them, send them and close the socket. Client always have to create a new socket and establish uh, try for establishing new connection to the server, send message and receive the message and close and terminate the session. TCP client server interaction verbally. Client, client always creates TCP socket, establish the connection, communicate with the server, and terminate the connection. Server side creates the TCP socket, assign a port number to the socket and bind it with the server socket, set the socket to listen for the client requests, and uh, repeat the process again, like, like after terminating the connection, repeat the process like accept a new connection from the client, communicate with the client, and again close the connection and repeat from the starting, like accept the new connection, and so on. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Any questions and discussions can be posted in the discussion post. If you have any questions, they can be 
uh, comment it down in the uh, YouTube URL link where the video is uploaded. Thank you. So now moving on to the next session where my teammate Rahul Wangari will explain you how the code works. Hi, this is Rahul Wangari. I would like to explain the source code and how it actually runs. So let's start. And here is the source code for server. And these are the header files as my friend shared and how to use that. A socket is a server socket description and C socket is a client server description. And server and client are the SOC address of, of type structure and and it is it is the data where we use it to input and output and this is uh, creating socket as we are using the tcp socket so we use a shock stream and we are checking for the error if socket address is less than zero it prints the error error message as error checking is important and we and we clearing the server description before and these are the set of instructions and in address in address any get the pc address and which converts the integer to network address af underscore i in i net is the internet ad address which uses the IP address and 3434 is a port number and which converts the integer to uh, internet address by htons and we are checking for and has we are done we bind the server and the server description and check for the address and once it is done and the server has is in the state of listening and server was listening here and the client the size of the client is determined by len and this statement will connect to the client if if anything wrong then the error message will be printed and this loop actually the code Actually, the communication between the clients and server will run and read is used to receive the message from the client and this is the normal print, print statements and B0 is used to clear the messages and this write is to, is to reply to the client if the server has typed by the termination will be closed okay let's go to the client as i discussed it is same the creating socket cleaning the buffer and it's same as same and in this first we have to clean the buffer data and the client is used to input the message or the any query and sends the message which i has doubt okay clearing if it is termination if it if the server sets by then the terminator will be done okay let's run the program vis dot c okay let's compile the code this is server dot c dot slash dot out Okay, everything good and server is in the listening state now let's open another tab for client okay let's run the client source code okay 
go it's run without errors and you see it is connected to server and in this server page we got the server connected to client let's start the discussion I server got the message and this is how the communication will goes on flight deal from chicago to new york okay now the server will replay okay sure let me fetch the details now server will replay can you forward link to me so that I can book my flight email id is xyz at the gmail dot com sure As soon as this class server sends by, the termination will be closed. And so here's the conclusion of our project. This is how the client and server chart communication system works, where we need to start the server first and set it to listening state. Client sends the request to the server and server will accept it. Nowadays, the most of the websites have chart box where users and representatives can communicate with each other. The users can clarify their issues or doubts, if any. Thank you. You guys have a great day.